Hey everybody. This time around the question is how can I meet somebody? Now, there's a lot of things we can talk about around this, but you know what? There's lots of places you can go to get uh, more significant opinions than mine. Even in the midst of the quarantine, uh, dating sites, eHarmony or whatever, there's a million of them as you know, um, they're still doing great business and there's, there's reason to, to try any of those things. You still have to go to the grocery store, to the coffee shop, even with the mask on. And one of the benefits of the whole corona thing is that no matter how you meet somebody, it ends up being a pretty good meet cute story because of all of the extra stuff that you have to do. You know that there's ways to put yourself out there, even in the midst of social distancing and, and sheltering in place and all of that. There's ways to do it, but you probably know that. I don't think that's really the spirit of uh, this question. Instead, I think it has to do with a, a more uh, more spiritual, more emotional kind of a, a concept. How can I fall in love with somebody? How can I make a heart connection with somebody? You know how to meet somebody. There's lots of ways to do that. How do I connect? How do I get involved on a deeper level? How can I show people who I really am? These are the kind of questions that I do feel a little bit more qualified to, uh, to address. And maybe you already know the kind of thing I'm going to say because at the end of the day, remember how life works. Remember how the universe works. Your source with a capital S is something transcendent, something more than physical, something that you don't go out and get. It's something that you already have. It's something that you already are. No matter what it is in life, if you're trying to experience a manifestation of some kind, a healing of some kind, a breakthrough, you get it. If you're trying to have something happen in your life, you know by now from watching these videos and talking with me and working on this stuff, the way to have something happen in the world is not to go out and try to force something or make something or even get something. The secret is to align with something and let it come out from you. In other words, if you want to meet somebody, well, you got to be somebody. Now, of course, you already are somebody, but what I'm suggesting is get really in touch with who you are, what you have to offer, what makes you tick, what is your offering to the world? What do you stand for? Be about something. It doesn't have to be a big something. You know, it doesn't have to be about curing cancer and solving the world's problems in a particular political stance. Those things are wonderful and you should pursue those things. But I'm talking about just what are you about? What makes you tick? What kind of music do you like? What kind of cookies do you do you really enjoy? Where's, where's the best cup of coffee in your town? These kinds of things. Little things. Build this wall out of tiny little bricks if you need to. But the idea is what are you all about? Get yourself to the place where your thought about connecting with somebody is not about, I'm going to meet somebody who's going to do it for me, who's going to give me what I need, the validation that I crave, who's going to provide for me in one way or another or cook for me or just those kinds of things, make it okay for me. Instead of thinking about, I'm going to find someone who's going to be a resource, because when you think about it, it's kind of yucky and it's kind of immature and it's really manipulative and it's no way to begin a relationship of any kind, friendly or romantic or anything. Stop thinking about what you can get out of a thing and really think about it. If you're putting yourself out there in the world, romantically or otherwise, think about your motivations. Are you doing it because you need somebody to pay attention to you? You're not going to experience anything healthy. That's not how this works. Let's reprogram that idea. Get yourself to the place where your concept is, I've got something to say, something to share, something to radiate, something to be. And if you put yourself in the mode of, of putting that out, you're making room for the source of every good thing to fill you up so that you have some gas in that tank, so to speak. And if you start deciding to be about something, if you start being the kind of person who's willing to share something, you're going to attract a different kind of person, a different kind of partner, because they will be a partner. You'll find a way to share something with the world. And that's an amazing thing, because at the end of the day, guys, love isn't something you get. You don't go and get love. It's not a commodity. Love isn't something that you create because love already is just like gravity, 
just like entropy, just like sunlight, just like everything good or important or special. It already is. Your job is to get on the same page with it, to be receptive to it, and to give it out, right? That's how all of this works. So when you're looking for somebody, stop looking for someone who's going to give you love and stop even looking for somebody that you're going to give love to. Start looking for a partner. In a partnership, you've got to bring certain things to the table. In a business partnership, I'm responsible for this and that and the other and you're responsible for this and that and the other. In a way, it's not different. Start figuring out how to be a partner in this life. And along the way, you will learn that love is not something you get. Love is not something you give. Love is something you experience together. Think of it like music. Love is like the song that you both dance to. And if you start looking for love in all those right places, amazing things will happen. Be about something. Show the world what that something is. And all of a sudden, things will start to work out for you in wonderful and different ways. So, Thanks for this amazing question. It's a really good one in this day and age. Thanks for keeping the questions coming. You can do that by writing to me on my website, waypastok.com, by Instagramming or tweeting with the hashtag AskDieter. But you know all that. You know about my book, Meaning Fulfilled, which is really, really important. It's going to change things for you. Go check it out by finding me on Amazon or by going to my website. Once again, waypastok.com. And once again, thank you for liking and subscribing and for sharing these videos. It means a lot, super important. Thanks a lot. You got this.